Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on how to secure a mobile device. Today we're going to talk about some methods that you can use to help secure a device against loss or theft, and how you can help secure it against malware. Now let's go ahead and begin this session. Now we begin by talking about some methods that you can use to help secure a mobile device against loss or theft. Since their inception, loss and theft has been a concern with mobile devices. Just about everyone has either lost one or had one stolen. Now, in the early years of cell phones, the major concern was that your cell phone was going to be used to call some foreign country or toll number, and you'd rack up a huge bill. Now, with the advent of smartphones and tablets and the portability of data, much more is at stake, so you should take steps to secure your mobile device. Your first line of defense is the passcode lock. It's usually a four-digit code that must be entered to unlock the phone, although they are using other methods now as well. Many operating systems also have failed logon restrictions that you can enable. As a user, you get to determine which actions occur after so many failed login attempts. Many mobile devices also have locator applications. These use GPS and geotracking to pinpoint the location of a device. It's especially useful in cases of theft, although I usually don't recommend confronting the thief. And the last part of your first line of defense is your remote backup application. Make sure that you always have a current backup of your mobile device in case you cannot recover it. Now your last line of defense is the remote wipe. Many phones and mobile devices are set up so that they can receive a signal from the user that will wipe all data remotely. You should only use this if you cannot recover your device, but it will ensure the privacy of your data. Also included in this last line of defense is your remote backup application. Just like on your first line of defense, always make sure that you have a current backup of your data. Now let's talk about how you can help secure a mobile device against malware. Now as the mobile device arena advances, more and more malware is being developed for these devices. Originally, there wasn't much demand for malware on the mobile device. After all, what could you hope to recover? But with the rise of the smartphone and the tablet, guess what? The stakes have also been raised. Your first line of defense in the mobile device arena is user education. You should teach and practice safe mobile device habits. Don't visit shady websites or whatnot with your mobile device. Patching your operating system and keeping current on updates is another portion of your first line of defense. This can mitigate many threats and vulnerabilities and helps to reduce the threat of malware. You should only acquire apps from a trusted source. Be aware that not all apps are created equal. You're much more likely to download malware on an Android device than you are on an Apple iOS device. Again, your remote backup application is part of your first line of defense. Backing up your data is always crucial. Your second line of defense on the mobile device is antivirus. Why is it your second line of defense? Well, because on the mobile device, the antivirus has to be configured and developed for each device in each operating system. This makes it a little bit harder to come by and not as advanced as desktop antivirus. So you should do your research before installing an antivirus app to make sure that it will be effective for you. Now that concludes this session on how to secure a mobile device. We discussed some methods that you could use to help secure a mobile device against theft or loss, and how you could help protect a mobile device against malware. Now, on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and we will do it again soon.